Are you looking for a way to turn around your throwaway furniture into a unique piece of art? I'm going to show you just that. My name is Divya and this is my channel where I share with you some of my DIY hacks, recipes and just about anything which has worked out for me. In my video today, I'm going to show you how you can convert any piece of furniture using chalk paint. And chalk paint is so forgiving, it's just perfect for beginners. I'm going to try and break this down into some simple steps so that it's really easy for you to follow through. Let's get into it. If this is the first time you're upcycling furniture, you want to use something small and something you're okay to experiment with. I'm using this glass top wooden end table which has been around forever and almost invisible at home. Our first step is to prepare the furniture. Unlike traditional paints, chalk paint does not require a primer. Give it a good clean and sandpaper the rough spots and you're good to go. Before I can start with the cleaning, I want to remove the glass table top. For cleaning, I'm going to use diluted liquid soap and just give it a good scrub, not missing any of the edges and corners. I highly recommend you don't skip this step because painting over dust is not something you want to do and that's going to really impact the retention of the paint to your furniture. Once I'm done with that, I just want to sandpaper any rough or bumpy spots on the furniture just to give it a smooth finish. Similarly, I'm just going to clean my glass to make sure it's ready for the paint. That brings us to the most interesting part to paint our furniture. For my table, I'm using the teal blue chalk paint from iCraft. I picked this off from Amazon and I've added the link on the description box below. With chalk paint, a little goes a long way. To apply the chalk paint, I'm using a dishwash sponge, but you can also use a sponge roller. Now what I'm going to be applying is the first coat of paint. At this point, I'm not really worried about how neat it's looking because I'm going to be having at least two more coats over this. And you can see this is why I love using the sponge because it really helps me to get into those corners which would have been difficult if I was using a brush. If you can see here, I did not wear hand gloves but please, please wear hand gloves. It would really make the cleanup a lot easier. You also don't want to miss out on any of the inner edges which are not directly visible. This would really add to the finishing of the furniture. As you can see, this is the first coat and you can still see the wood coming through, but that's okay. We're going to deal with it in our second coat. In my second coat, I'm going to add a one spritz of uh, water just to thin it down by a bit. And then again, we're going to repeat the process and just apply a thin layer over our first coat. You want to make sure you've given the first coat enough time to dry, at least two to three hours. Chalk paint dries almost instantly, but I would really suggest taking time and giving a day between each of the coats. That brings us to our third coat, which is slightly more thinner than my second coat. And I'm going to repeat the process and again spread a thin layer over the entire table. At this stage, I want to make sure my table is completely covered and I don't have the wood coming through. If required, I'm going to just retouch any of those points which require an extra paint. And this is how my table looks um, after my three coats. It's completely covered and I'm happy with the coverage. For my glass top, I'm using the Mango Crush yellow chalk paint which I picked up from Itsy Bitsy. I'm mixing this with white because I don't want it so bright and I'm just going to dip my roller into this and this is my second coat. And there, that's a good clean uh, second coat I have. And once this is dry, I want to give it kind of a gradient look. Uh, so I'm going to put in some dark yellow and gradually fade it down. I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. Our next step is to distress the furniture. If you like the clean look of your furniture, you can ignore this step, but I think it really adds some character into the furniture. 
For this we first start with the smooth to medium texture sandpaper and we're just going to roughen up the texture. We don't want to rub too hard because that can cause the paint to chip out. Next I'm going to go in with the coarse sandpaper and at this point I really want to be rough and I want the wood to come through at certain points. This gives it a nice vintage, um, almost a withered look, which I really loved. And the last step is to seal our furniture to make sure they last for many years to come. Before applying my varnish, I'm going to insert the glass top back into the table. And I'm using varnish with a matte texture here, but you can also use wax if you have access to it. With varnish, you want to make sure you're applying a very thin layer in one direction strokes. Apart from protecting the furniture, the varnish also really helps bring out the color. So that's my end product and I'm really loving how it looks. I love the colors. I also love the distressed texture which is I think giving it that beautiful vintage look. You can see how this has converted a boring end table into a unique statement piece. I love the pop of color this is adding to my room. This is an elaborate project and I did take a couple of days to complete it. But the results are going to be so worth it. I really wish you'd try this out and share your creations with me on my Instagram handle. If you'd like to see more such DIY videos, let me know on the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any new videos. I'll see you again next week with a new video. Until then, stay put, stay safe. Take care guys. It's me, Divi. Signing out. And chalk paint is such a and chalk paint is